Okay. Hey, it's the end of day three. We've had an incredibly busy day. Yesterday we deployed Ogopogo. Today, early, early in the morning, we connected Ogopogo to the internet. It powered up okay, seems to be functioning. Has a bit of a problem. We're trying to figure out how to get uh, Ogopogo, the vertical profiling system, to come out of its container and go up to make measurements in the water column. So the systems people are working on that. We've had two dives since then and installing uh, instrument platforms, removing instrument platforms, connecting instruments to the internet, incredibly busy, taking cores at a site in uh, the upper part of the slope in Barker Canyon to understand the seafloor, the interface of the biological organisms between the water column and the seafloor. Extremely um, busy day. And in this room, other things are happening at the same time. This team over here is analyzing some of the multi-beam data that we collected in between dives because we, when we dive with ROPOS, after ROPOS comes up, they have to reconfigure ROPOS, um, test things again, so it takes several hours or more before we can go back down and dive. So in the meantime, we actually go out and do multi-beam surveys to measure and map the seafloor bathymetry in this area because there's big gaps in our data set. And this team, turnaround team, wave, <laughs> are analyzing the data, laying out the grids for mapping, and, and figuring out how we can integrate this into our current database. We're going to be, we're actually in multi -beam right, beaming right now. We'll be diving first thing in the morning at about 2 a.m. on May 30th. So once again, stay tuned. <laughs>